Hey, hello, and welcome. So, uh, today I'm going to be talking about all of the changes that have been made for AHD release v0.2. So, I'm going to quickly do this AHD. Oh, whoops. And so, if I go ahead and pull up the change log really quickly, it's actually been quite a few changes. Uh, actually, there has been a, there's been a point release since then. I had to fix a couple of uh, bits of weirdness that were going on. Um, <clears throat> but the main things, the main features that have been implemented are uh, Bash autocompletion, um, ZSH, ZS, ZSH, and Fish are on the way. Uh, I ended up having to do this manually as opposed to doing it the way that I wanted to. So um, <clears throat> that's why it's only Bash for the time being. I'll have to do the other two later on. Uh, the ability to export and import configurations, which will be important um, for another point that I'll mention. <clears throat> uh, I added cross-platform wildcard support and cross-platform home directory. Um, <clears throat> I also fixed a couple of bugs, like when you're just running the register command without any flags, it would print just like an error message and now it prints uh, the help information. Uh, I fixed an issue with how relative paths were being tracked, uh, specifically dot paths were being um, weird. Um, and then, uh, or sorry, uh, I fixed the dot paths here, but the way that relative paths worked was obscure with the home directory, so I fixed that. Um, additionally, uh, I made some pretty big changes to the documentation, including adding issue templates and for bug reports and feature requests, uh, pull request templates, a full contribution guide, migration information, which I'll come back to in a second, and all the relevant documentation for 0.2.0, and then I set a point release fixing some bugs that came out with some of the features for v0.2.0. So, uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the documentation really quickly, uh, just because I want to show you some of the changes that I made. Uh, I guess the first I can show you right away. If you go ahead and try and create a new issue now, it'll ask you to choose a bug or feature request, and that'll be um, <clears throat> that'll be super helpful for me to be able to just organize stuff a little bit better. Uh, on top of that, uh, on the actual documentation, you'll see there's quite a bit more documentation, uh, including uh, information about um, upgrading, although it looks like this is also being weird, so I will have to go and fix this. Uh, but basically, long story short, um, any paths that you use to contain these brackets uh, basically, the way that uh, the particular config parser, which is the library that I was using, uh, stored these, for some reason it stored them with the brackets, but you can't actually store types, it just stores them as a string. Anyways, long story short, uh, this is the only backwards compatibility change, the only non-backwards compatibility change that I've made, uh, so hopefully, um, hopefully this will be uh, the only one that I ever have to make. And so basically just to fix this, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but basically you just remove the brackets. That's basically the only real change. You just have to remove the brackets and uh, and that's about it. Uh, I've also added a ton more stuff, no, sorry, not to the uh, quick start, but rather to the usage documentation. As you can see, there's a couple of new commands. Uh, I've added docs, docs for each of these, um, <clears throat> each of those, and also information about how wildcards work, which is the new, and uh, new and improved way that I've added some stuff. So basically, I'll quickly I'll quickly show you what wildcards look like. Um, so first off, let's just go to the desktop really quickly, and I'll show you the configuration management stuff. So, uh, so now you can do HD config, and with a HD config, you can use uh, dash e. And so actually, let's see the the desktop really quick, and we'll do HD config dash e. And uh, that will actually, do I have micro installed? I do have micro installed. Uh, that will actually save a dot file, which if you don't have any, if you don't have it set up to show hidden files, which I don't on my desktop, uh, then you won't be able to see it. But we can do micro dot ahd config and take a look at this. So basically this is the configuration file <clears throat> that I have in here. I have a whole bunch of commands in here, but you can see here for get up to what I've done is in my development folder inside of personal, I have a whole slew of different folders here, and so basically uh, what I wanted to do is just be able to put development personal slash star and also development Canadian coding dash star, and so um, that's basically what I did, and uh, it works out perfectly. This also works cross-platform. Uh, the tilde here uh, on Windows will be changed to the user profile environment variable. All the paths will be flipped, and the wildcards still work cross-platform. So this, I could literally take this exact same configuration, and as long as I have a development folder that's set up in the same structure on my Windows PC, um, I'd be able to also use this on my Windows machine, which is actually exactly what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so uh, that command was git upt. So basically what I can do here is I can do ahd 
git upt, and you saw there the other feature that I've added, which is that every time you register a command, uh, it will now be added to a bash autocomplete file. <clears throat> One thing that is weird about this, uh, well, it's not really weird about it, um, but basically if you've never if you've registered commands before version 0 0.2 um, you will have to register at least one new command for the autocomplete to be generated and then um, the autocomplete file will get generated properly <clears throat> so that's all that's basically it but yeah so basically i can do get upt and from here it'll go through there will be one error and that's my fault that's a configuration error on my git profile not to do with anything here but basically, there you go. Go through. Git pulls everything. We're good to go. Um, so uh, some other things that have been changed. So yes, yeah, so if we do AHD docs, this is a new feature that's been added. When you type in AHD docs, it goes ahead and opens up the documentation um, <clears throat> just to the main page here and uh, all the information is here. Also, I added a development guide, which I did mention, and that includes any necessary information that you need to know. Uh, I have also included that that config command, basically the way that you do the importing. Uh, once you've made that change from basically we do dash E, go in, make your changes to your configuration. So if I go in here into my configuration, uh, typically it would have looked something like that. And basically all that I have to do is just delete the... Uh, the square brackets and replace them with single quotes and that's about it there we go and then uh, with that once that's been done you can then use hd config dash i and then whatever the file is so dot ahd config and then that'll go ahead and it'll tell you to oh sorry uh, on um, linux you have to sudo and it tells you that it, right here where it says uh, permission denied that's because you have to sudo to do it. So uh, there will be error messages is coming in the next release, uh, just because I haven't had time to uh, to end to end test, which is also why there will be testing coming out in the next release to make this a little bit easier for myself so that I can iterate a bit faster. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. So then I just go ahead and enter my sudo password. And as I go through, it tells me where it's importing it to, and now it's all done. Obviously I haven't made any actual changes, so um, I can't, but it but it works basically i've already tested it thoroughly uh, i've tested about six or seven times so um yeah i believe that's just about everything that's been released let me just quickly double check um did you do yeah so that's uh yeah that's everything so hopefully uh this makes the um makes ahd a bit more usable uh, unfortunately uh after doing a ton of digging and i really didn't want this but unfortunately um, there really isn't an equivalent for bash autocomplete on Windows. Uh, I really did try to find something, but there just aren't good alternatives on Windows. I just, I, there really isn't. I tried looking into a bunch of different APIs. There just isn't a good one. So unfortunately, <clears throat> basically that's limited to bash. I actually didn't test if it worked on Windows bash clients. I didn't test anything with that, but um, yeah, I guess you can give it a shot if you really want to. Um... And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully uh, AHD is useful for you. And uh, if it is, be sure to give the video a like uh, and tell people about AHD. I'm really looking for more people to use it so that I can start getting a better idea for what people want, uh, what features would be meaningful for people, and uh, kind of what the different use cases are. So um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will hopefully see you in the next one.